How's it going, boys? Happy New Year's 2020. Is it New Year's or New Year? Uh, there's been a lot of years. Okay. Happy, so, happy New, also a lot of years. New Year. Happy. Is it New Year's or New Year? I feel like an <laughs> idiot. I think I've been saying it wrong. We got a new setup. Yeah, sort of. we're trying some stuff out. Yeah, I think we just threw this together oh, like. Um, okay. You want to turn the ad on? <laughs> yeah, a little dangus. No. Um, yeah. So uh, we just kind of like five minutes before we went live, we're like, let's move everything. Yep. To a completely separate part of the shop. Throw up some lights, and I really like it. Yeah. So the thing is, we really enjoy doing this and getting to talk to you guys. So what we think is, if you guys enjoy it enough, we'll actually start, you know, kind of creating a studio, a little set for yeah. this. And make this more of a routine. Do this more often. Yeah. yeah. Maybe so we're longer. Think, we're and all thinking that good stuff. about, and you guys can chime in on this too, but we're thinking, because as of right now, we don't have a video series that goes up Wednesdays. Yep. So what we're thinking about is making this um, recurring on every Wednesday. So every Wednesday we'll go live, kind of hang out, maybe turn it into somewhat more of like a kind of like a podcast type thing. Com we'll yeah. Comment right now. Um, what time you'd like to see us go live like if this time works well let us know and then comment the time zone you're in too so we can kind of figure that out and see what works best yeah, for you definitely. guys because that's something we're always trying to figure out it's always weird being in the Midwest mm -hmm. and we know a lot of you guys are from like the West Coast and stuff like yeah, that so right so. now it's like 330 over there <laughs> yeah right so if this time works good great if not let us know and we'll try to work around that this time 1230 in New Zealand how about that 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m., 6.30 Eastern. Seems a good time. This time 7 to 8 Central, 7 Central. This time is perfect. Yeah, it sound, you know, sounds like... Right around, it sounds like we're in the ballpark at perfect. least. Perfect. Damn. I can't believe how many like people <laughs> from all over are watching this. That's yeah, crazy. It blows my mind every time. Yep. But yeah, um, so yeah, I think we're thinking every Wednesday uh, we'll do 5.30 <laughs> Central Standard Time, so that'll be wherever it is in your respective time zone but yeah uh, plan on doing this every every Wednesday from yeah now on, and let so. us know what you want to see what do you want answered do you want us to like come and talk about a topic do you like just doing the Q&A every time it's up to you guys we will literally you know make this what you guys want it to be so I, I really enjoy it oh um Bradley says he loves my beard thank you uh, love you Bradley uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> Alrighty, so what's what's first up? I did questions? see, um, gonna... I forgot the name, I apologize. Before we were loading up here and loading in, I seen someone comment and say, pros and cons of air suspension. And I okay. think that's a good one to talk about, start sure. things off a little bit here. So I run it personally, so I'd like to say a few things. Okay. I don't know if you've heard anything that you'd like to with experiences, sure. stuff like that. I mean, I, I did the install on the E30 and right. like, you know, had experiences of, with that. So I mean, I can chime in here and there, cool. but yeah. So, Pros, for me, looks awesome, handles great. People, I always see people commenting like, oh, it's not gonna handle as well if you're on air ride. And I think those people don't have air ride because Guaranteed. honestly, it handles really well. I was seriously impressed, um, but obviously how nice it is to like pull into driveways, pull into restaurants, you know, those nasty ones that are like this and you just air up. It's so convenient. Even pulling into work, I'll air up. Yeah. Because we kind of have a little bit of a steep driveway. And it's just nice not to scrape all the time. Um, installation's real easy, I would say. Well, unless, you know, you got height sensors, then it adds a little <laughs> bit more. Yeah. But on a pressure-based system, installation's pretty easy. Some of the cons, things don't go wrong often. But well, if they, they do, it's not good. You're stuck. So, so that, that is a major flaw. What I've heard a lot from when I'm talking to you and stuff like that and a couple other people that I know that run air suspension is just it, the maintenance is more important than ever. Yeah. You know, it's like car maintenance is always important, but if you're when you're talking about if this thing were to fail, you're stuck. Because if, like, you, like, blow an airline or something comes disconnected, or disconnected, something's rubbing and a bag pops, like... It's not going to be a good time. Fuse goes. I've heard of that yeah, happening. Fuse, I had to replace the fuse on the E30, actually. So what I would say, don't let that scare you. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to be doing a bunch of maintenance, more maintenance added to the maintenance it's I have to do. check on. Like, yeah, you got to check on. But what's most important is the initial install. Yes. If you do it right, right off the bat, and don't rush it, don't do it right before you got a car show at 8 in the morning. <laughs> Just get it done right the first time. And I've owned air for over a year now, and I've 
Knock on wood, never had an issue. I've never been stranded. And that's because I got some buddies with me that have had air in before and we all just spent two days just putting in just to refine everything and then kind of go over everything yeah. once it was in. Uh, Oscar has a question here too. He's sure. like, isn't there an airbag system for coilovers to jack them up? Oh, Could have sworn that's a thing. It's the best yeah. of both Air worlds. Cups. Absolutely. Fortunato. So that is a little bit of a confusing subject in the sense of like, oh, it's an airbag on top of my coilovers so I can like air out further but still have coilover suspension. It's actually kind of the opposite. What you're going to do is you're going to run the car static. Right. But when you need that additional boost... Um, it's not a bag. It's like a cylinder. It's like a like a pneumatic cylinder. It's yeah. not a bag per se. So you still need some sort of management. And it's a hundred like percent function. Yeah. Like nothing to do with. Shop. But and, and it comes straight from like the track. Next drive for your drivers tomorrow, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. There you go. But yes, it comes straight from the track for people loading cars up on trailers or um, especially like the exotics and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, steep driveways. Um, a lot of exotics come yeah, with air like cups the, from the, the GT3 factory. RS comes yeah. with air cups in the front. Lamborghinis. Yep. Um, but yeah, so the only other con I, I really to air suspension is Price. the cost. Yep, I and, knew you were going to say yeah. that. And, and it's worth it though. If yes. you just save up and bite that initial bullet, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, tax returns are coming. That's when I did it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Blew them. If you're looking for air suspension, feminindustries.com. We got a whole Heard bunch that. Of, we got Accuair, we got Airlift, a whole bunch of goodies. Okay, um, Cable says, thank you for the donation, by the way. He says, I cannot find an affordable rim slash wheel for a 2002 Jaguar XJR 20 inches with a lip for VIP style I gotta look this up I gotta I gotta say I'm not too familiar with my Jaguars I could also say that I am not <laughs> I don't make that kind of money so I would imagine that's why he's having yeah definitely because I'm gonna say that we probably don't have a lot of these in the gallery either but we can check definitely a VIP style though that would look great I guess if we knew so affordable rims with a lip, VIP style, you're looking at 20s. It's, it's very specific. I guess depending on uh, what the bolt pattern is for that, you can really make like, especially for like a VIP style, you can really make anything fit and you're going to have to. Yeah. Depending on like your width and offset. But if you're looking for something in a 20 inch with a lip, VIP style, yeah, that you're, and it's affordable. I, I twenty don't inch know, wheels aren't too affordable. I don't know if that is a thing, but what brands you can look at? I know um, Rohana bid on more on the pricier side, more like mid intermediate intermediate level as far as pricing. Um, they don't really have lip style though, but they are a really nice wheel. Um, I believe, if correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Adhan actually is starting to get into the bigger size. I don't know if they have 20s, but I believe they have 19s. Um, they have some styles with the lips on them. Um, but for the most part, if you're looking with for a 20 with a lip, you're going to be looking at multi-piece wheels. Yeah. Because it, cause a lot of those bigger wheels are going to be more of a concave style. They're not going to have a lip to them without getting into multi-piece because that's just how that goes. Oh, dude says he loves your shirt gels. Maybe you should... Uh... Explain a little bit about that. Absolutely. So this is a brand new shirt. Yep. We actually just dropped these today. We got we got a little bit of a treat for you guys. So um, we had just launched our second giveaway with Conse Wheels. So if you head over to fitmentindustries.com, you can click here. We got this awesome homepage for it. You can click the video, find out how to enter. But basically, just like all of our other giveaways, the back is absolutely yeah, killer. We've got this dope. whole like Grim Reaper style going on. They absolutely crushed it with the design on this one. Um, pick up a shirt, get automatically entered in to win a free set of Conse wheels from their Formlight lineup. So that's their KMP, their Tandem, and their Corsa. Um, and then we'll be also making a donation, just like every other giveaway, um, at the end of it to uh, Hope for Paws. So that's an animal yes. rescue. Save the puppies. The animal rescue group. Um, so they, they rescue literally anything. Yeah. So cats, it's dogs, a really good organization. Donkeys, anything. Donkeys. Um, but they got a YouTube channel too and they like did a video with yeah. Marshmallow. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. And uh, it's got like 16 million views and it's all about rescuing puppies and it's like, Very cool. it'll make you cry. Uh, Mason asked, thank you for the donation by the way. Uh, flush set up for a 2010 Mazda Slow 3. On coilovers. And so while we're looking good. that up, thank you for the donation, what, Rocket Bunny. 2012? 2010. 2010. Uh, Rocket Bunny, thank you. He says, looking at getting an 09 Subaru STI hatch. Opinions. Dope. I mean, check it out. Make sure, you know, it's holding up well. Maybe, like, if it has higher mileage, I'd be a little wary. 
Um, closer to stock, the better in my opinion. When I'm buying used vehicles, I like to get them as close to stock as possible because you just don't know the work that's done been done to it. Um, STI hatch though, hatch gang, that's what I'm talking about. I like the hatches, they look great. STI is definitely a better option than the WRX just because of the glass transmissions and stuff like that and you're getting a little bit more power. So yeah, check it out, test drive it, make sure she checks out and I'd say go for it. I know this is a 2013, but uh, we got we got this one here on some ESR SR01s, 18 x 99 plus 35. So very typical mm -hmm. JDM fitment, 18 by 99 plus 35, uh, 235 40 tire setup on this guy. Um, got a couple pictures, but that looks really nice and flush. Otherwise, You're I did see this uh, MST uh, MT01 17 by 9 plus 35. So if you want to go with like a 17, that is a very flush fitment, I would say. Um, he's on some race land coilovers, 245 40 on the tire setup. No spacers, no fender rolling, no rubbing. Good to go. I wanna... would always recommend though, like if you're going for a flush fitment, stuff just like that, do it. Just roll your fenders yeah. before you destroy them because it's a lot easier to roll your fenders than try to fix them after they've yeah. been. Ooh, look at this one though. 2011. Oh, on some RPF ones. This looks like a freaking beast. That hood scoop is, <laughs> that scoop is so crazy. Straight off an STI. Hey, it looks like he stole my splitter. Yeah, what the All heck right. is going on? 17 here? by 9 plus 35. Uh, 255 40. So a little bit of a I like more that. aggressive. I like that. That's meaty track setup. This I reminds swear. me a lot of your car. I'm this not is lie. well. This is I think what's gonna happen. Except he's probably doing it better because he has a better meat mm -hmm. stance, which I really want, and I think this is what's gonna be popular is these more yeah, aggressive yeah, setups but still having good fitment on it I think that's the way forward I think people are moving away from the stance a little bit and uh, going towards these aggressive track style setups which I'd still recommend air for yeah I mean a lot of, I see a lot of people talking crap about air but you can pull it Just off do it. and it handles so well believe me it's literally the route I'm thinking about going with all right that's part. enough plugs about air um, Jacob says thank you for the donation can, can you rate Cameron how was y'all's day Oh, I didn't even see that one. Sorry. So many comments. Cameron, how's <laughs> y'all's day today? Um, good. Busy. Great. Yeah. Busy. Yeah, because we just, we had off for New Year's, got yeah. to a party a little bit, <laughs> have fun, and now we're coming back, getting we the swing of the giveaway. Yeah. Uh, Super good. Giveaway, just videos, busy. all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. But really good. Thank great. you for asking. How's your day going? Um, Jacob, thank you. He says, can you rate in gallery gray 2008 CIV Civic, I'm assuming? Maybe? Yeah. Civ, on 18 by 8. PFO one RPFO or PFO one PFO one Let me see if I can find it. Thank you, White Wolf, for the donation too. Two thousand eight Honda Civic. Uh, we'll try. We'll try, brother. Gray two thousand eight Civ. Eighteen by eight PFO one. I had to really narrow it down. We got eighty one results yet. Oh boy. If you have, here, Jacob, if you have your IG handle linked to it. Um, oh, found it. Did you find it? Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got her. All right. Let's all check right. her out. I honestly like these Civic SIs a lot. This, um, yeah, this generation I really I wanted really to buy one for the daily. I almost did. I was so close. Like, I wouldn't come down $100 to where I want it. I'm kind of a cheapskate. And <laughs> I ended up getting a TDI instead. But I do really like these cars. All right. So this FG2 Jacobs. Sure. What's up, Jacob? 2008 Honda Civic NK PFO ones, 18 by 8 plus 40 Continental con, con, Oh my God, I cannot say. It. Wow. Continental is 255 <laughs> on some Skunk 2 lowering springs. So that's actually, that actually sits pretty low. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say lowering it. springs. Like, I, I have lowering springs in my Eclipse, and it did not drop it that much. That's all I'm saying. Um, but. Yeah, overall, um, I think the style of the wheel fits this generation of Civic really, really good. I would have maybe gone with either maybe like a nine wide or yeah. maybe a plus That's 35 offset just to kind of pull that out um, a little more. But overall, yeah, dude, like I, I, I dig the, the style that you're going with it. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's a nice clean setup. I think it's a great start. I'd like to see some more done to it. Um, like Joe said, I actually kind of like the color of the wheels with the color of the car. Yeah. It's kind of different, kind of all blends in together, but it looks good. Um, I'd like to see them a little wider, a little better fitment on there, um, but I think it's a great start. Uh, Alex says, you're doing terrific. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Uncle Alex. <laughs> Alright, um, wait, thank you for the donation. He says, looking at a 2012 C63 AMG Coupe. Oof. That's what a tough wheel one. setup do you think will go good with it? That 
is the question of the century. Black now, wheels it? with a black exterior? Also, any good websites to search? Yeah, fitmanindustries.com, brother. <laughs> Come that, on! Is that 20, 2012? Yeah, 2012 C63 AMG Coupe. Okay. Um, black wheels with a... Sometimes with black... It depends what you want to go for. There's a black wheel. Black. If you want to go for the murdered outlook, go for it. Um, but sometimes with black wheels, you lose the definition in the wheel and they kind of get hard to see. So sometimes I like to get like, I don't know, polished wheels or a colored wheel just so you can kind of see more of the definition mm -hmm. from Porsche Yeah. So uh, with the C63s, um, I remember helping um, legit street cars out with his. Yep. And I remember um, Kirk also has a Mercedes that yep. he. Both or Kirk is running Vorsteiners, and then uh, Alex from Legit Street Cars is running. Um, uh, I can't think of it. Rohanas. Mm -hmm. um, very tricky fitments with these cars. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. On Legit Street Cars, his is pretty good. I yeah. like his setup a lot. Yeah, because it's a wide setup with a very high offset. Yeah. So it means that it's 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 very everything is inside the car. Right. Like the high offset meaning like a plus forty plus forty five like we yeah. see here. Yep. Um, but Vorsteiner, Rohana, all those brands, um, Vossen is going to be another one that are, you're going to want to look at for those. Um, and please check them out at fitmentindustries.com. <laughs> but yeah, very tricky, but the gallery does have some good ones in there for you to look at. But that plus 45 offset, you're going to be running a staggered setup. Um, and then your tire size is going to be very important on these cars. All right, classic. Thank you for the donation. He says, need help finding wheels that fit a stock 2017 Q50. I actually really like these Q50s a lot. Eric, our boy, uh, he currently drives a Mazda Speed 3, and he's looking at Q50s. And uh, they look good, especially this, once you do some stuff to them. Corey is amazed by her stuff. This is nuts. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. <laughs> this looks wild. <laughs> so we're looking at a 2015 Q50. And he's just looking for a, just kind of a good everyday thing? or like what? Uh, so yeah, he said it was stock, so I'm guessing something that'll look good without it being lowered. I'm going to suggest lowering it first. I yes. don't know if that's an option, but if you're thinking, even like the slightest idea of like, hey, maybe my car would look good lowered, just get some coilovers I on it. I promise you. And then get the wheels. That's the best advice I could give. These things look damn good lowered and on wheels. That kind of looks like a nice setup, these NKs. Um, TTC01 RRs. I, I, obviously that guy's lowered too, but mm -hmm. not a slam door. Yeah, a lot of these are slam. Yeah, a lot of these are going to see lowered in the gallery. Uh, I mean, this one, this one might not be. This one. This one's on stock suspension, 2015 oh, Q50. Uh, some niche uh, DFSs, 19 by 9.5 plus 35 on some Michelin. And if you're gonna stay cups. stock height, I would definitely recommend the 19s. It looks like the 19s yeah. fill it out well. Yeah. But I would imagine at some point you're gonna lower it, whether you want to or not. You're gonna do it. Car crazy. Thank you for the donation. He says, try to add to the gallery and won't let me. Rate my Insta. What? Question mark. Yeah, I'm confused why, do you have stock wheels or stock suspension or something? Because you should be able to add your car. Yeah, if you're running into a technical issue, just uh, shoot us an email. Um, you yeah, know, we'll, our customer we'll make sure you get us just, just Literally just DM me on Instagram or something like that. I'll get taken care of, brother. Definitely, and then we'll rate it, I promise. Uh, Eurospec Gaming, thank you for the donation. Downpipe and resonator delete or full catback exhaust for a 2012 Golf GTI Edition 35. Um, downpipe, you say, now are you saying catless, high flow cat, uh, full cat back exhaust? I would say just do the full cat back. Yeah, if you're going to do, good. yeah. I think that's, that's going to make your go. biggest difference. And it'll sound good, those GTIs, I mean, any turbocharged four-cylinder, once you open them up, sound, sound good. real good. Yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend straight piping in, um, get a little bit raspy, kind of. Even with the turbo? Yeah. yeah, well, it gets a little bit raspy here on the higher end. I wouldn't have um, a own turbo car. But I think it's worth to do a full cat bag. Yeah, that blows my mind. Blows my mind. One day. Exter, thank you for the donation. It says Zoom Zoom. Mazda? Zoom Zoom. That was their slogan, right? Yeah, for zoom, a zoom. little while. Zoom Zoom. And then they're like, okay, this is dumb. Let's switch. Thank you for the donation, though, so much. All right, what do we got? What do we got? I was, oh, I'm sorry. No, not, not to jump back on the air ride, but... I uh, saw this a couple times. Uh, how does air ride operate at low temperature at winter, for instance? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we get this question a lot. So, personally, I store my car in the winter. However, I have a few buddies real close with, and they daily their car year-round with their cars in the air. They're both Focus STs, and they're both on air ride, uh, airlift performance. All you need to do is 
put it in your lines in your tank, um, a little uh, break. It's like a, semis use it in the winter, so their airlines don't freeze up. It's like a break antifreeze, I want to say. I forget what it's called. I think I know what you're talking about. It's all you, it's all you have to do is add it to the tank in winter, and then you're good. It so, keeps it dry. Yeah, all you that's the only thing you need to worry about in winter is because what happens is it warms up, cools down, warms up, cools down. You start building condensation in yep. your tank, condensation in your lines, and then if that freezes and you go to put air in a bag and you got ice chunk in there, no bueno. Also, you don't want that in or your if air it's tank like in your either. Valves yes, or, or yeah, especially in your just, valves. Just keep water on your. System. So that's what you want. Yeah. That's the only thing you need to worry about. Otherwise, it's designed to be ran in winter, too. Semis run air ride in winter all the time. Not that it's the same exact system, it's but the same it's idea. it's still an air compressor. Airlift was designed in Lansing, Michigan. I tell you what, brother, they get tons of snow up there. Hell yeah. And uh, yeah, it's not an issue. Yeah. Uh, Kenny, thank you for the donation. Looking for my first car, something 10 to 15,000 is my budget. Manual, tunable, etc. Modifiable, good choice. I'm um, looking at either BRZ86. A Mustang or a Genesis Coupe, what do you recommend? Well, Kenny, if you are looking to do something um, that's going to be modifiable, it's got a good amount of aftermarket support, I think those are three solid options. If you're looking for something to make more power than anything versus like visual stuff, the Mustang, that's going to be your go to route. Um, Genesis Coupe would probably be the second best for that if you can get in like a 2.0 turbo. Um, you can tune that a little bit, get decent, some decent power. Otherwise, sorry, no, that's okay. Otherwise, um, BRZ86, they're gonna be a fun driver's car. I own an FRS, not the fastest thing, no surprise there. Um, you can turbo them, they do get a little, they do get a little finicky sometimes, um, but it is possible. Um, but yeah, I think it, it really depends on what it comes down to. I think those are three solid choices, and if you can find something within that price range for those, you're gonna, you're gonna be a happy camper. Yep. White Wolf Z4 donated, and he said, hey, you guys shared some pictures of my car. What do you think of it? Damn, brother. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing is hot. I I don't know if we can pull it up. That's Show in it the on. gallery. That's yeah. in the gallery. Yeah. Well, let's pull it. Let's pull it. Get up. it up because this thing. What is that? Thank is? you for the donation, by the way. BMW Z4. I'm not sure what. You, 2016. On. I, thank you so much. You pulled off Cosmos Racing XT206 Rs oh perfectly. Oh my lord. Bro, I feel like I need to donate this, to you. This yeah. thing is... <laughs> go give this guy a follow on Instagram right now. What white, were your thoughts when you thoughts would you change anything? The only thing I'm changing is my pants, bro. <laughs> Damn. This thing is hot, bro. Holy. I don't think I've ever seen a Z4 that I like that much. Oh, brother. This is amazing. <laughs> you got me. This is amazing. Ten. Ten. Damn. That's hot. That is hot. I guess I'd, if you want me to nitpick it just to say something, maybe get those fronts out a little bit further, the yeah. rears out a little bit farther. Maybe. A little bit. A little bit. Dang, dude. I don't know, dude. It's freaking awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That That's a spot on awesome car. And I'm, I'm kind of falling out of love with big wings, but you did it perfect. <laughs> I think it fits that. Yeah, yeah it, it well. works really well. That is probably one of the best Z4s I've ever seen. Guaranteed. I'm fanboying a little bit. Thank you. Um, all right, what do we got here? Landon says, what's the most extreme offset on an 18 SI with nine inch wheels plus? What was that? I'm sorry. The most extreme offset. On a what? Civic SI, Wait, 2018. Most extreme offset? I mean, you're pretty freaking extreme. Uh, <laughs> I guess, it, it, how much camera do you want to run? A Civic, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's just, uh, Set. Oh, he said he, that that White Wolf Z4. He said he did change from 12 millimeter spacers to 25 millimeter spacers. So those are coming out okay. a little bit more. Gotcha. Looks good, man. Let me make sure I'm not skipping donations here, trying to nice. get to all you guys. Man, that Z4. Ooh. Good work. I would imagine someone that's running an aggressive offset on this car would be running air suspension. Would you agree? Generally. There's a plus fifteen. No, let me pull up the plus fifteen is plus fifteen is aggressive. Usually yeah. plus twenty two to plus thirty five is the norm. Um, so plus fifteen is getting down there a little bit. Like we uh, said, you can run what. There's another one at plus fifteen. You can run whatever you want. It's just making it fit. That's the hard part. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have some tires stretch. Plus ten. You're gonna have some camber. 
Uh, that's pretty impressive. He has the 18 by 9 and a half plus 10. Cosmos. And, oh, that's the hatchback. It's, it's not that high, but. And he's able to <laughs> get those pretty good. I keep feeling like I'm skipping people. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to all your comments, guys. So are we, we're seeing a lot of guys in our gallery at least plus yeah. 15, plus I've seen 10 some older gonna... Civics be able to pull off like a negative 10, though. It is possible. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, oh, no. My thing just jumped. Okay. <laughs> Exter, thank you for the donation. He says, so I almost bought a Subaru Legacy B4. I'm uh, still saving for one. Once I do, what sort of wheels should I put on it? It needs to. Where to go? What, what sort of wheels should I put on? They would need to survive Canada. Mm. Well, we're in Wisconsin, so it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um, any wheels going to survive as long as you just take care of them. Ceramic coat your wheels. Definitely. We have it available. When you order wheels from us, actually, it's an additional option. Yeah. It's not too much. They do it for you. And it's you worth get it. Them, you get them wheels, tires, mounted, ceramic coated, ready to go. And then they're shipped right to you, all done yeah. and ready to go. And, and then it, it makes, makes a cleaning world of difference. such a breeze and it keeps all the crap off. So I would definitely recommend that if you're going to be driving in winter or anything like that. That's right. Do you want to pull up a few Subaru Legacies? Yeah. You didn't see what year. B4. I don't, is B4 the. Third generation. Third generation. What's 1999 that? to 2004. So the older ones. Someone's singing out there. <laughs> You'll have it. <laughs> All right. So I'm sorry. What are we looking for now? I, I lost. I'm lost. Um, wheels to run in Canada. Oh, Canadian. What are we seeing a lot of guys running? So if you're running all year round in Canada, you're probably not going to want something like too aggressive, right? You're going to want something that's more like daily. Um, I would say 18s for sure, probably between an 8 and a 9 inch, maybe 9.5 if you're feeling a little risky. Um, <laughs> oh, I know that guy, yeah. yeah. He, well, he we'll drives come, it. We'll Wisconsin. come back to that. <laughs> um, Can you see what, what looks good? 18 by 9, I think, is what you're going to want to go with. On that 2003, those XT206 R's look. Yeah. Good on there. Plus 33, so it's a little aggressive in offset. Uh, but that looks really good. I don't, I don't know if that's the same generation. Yeah, it might be pushing it again. Oh, before it's a sedan. Gotcha. Oh. We're over here looking like at the these, wagoons. Like these guys. I mean, those weds look pretty dope. These guys. That's an interesting car. MKTM 7. Get the wagoon. You didn't buy yet. Get the wagoon. <laughs> wagoon gang. I would say typical JDM. So 18s, 8 to 9 inch, plus 35 offset, gonna be good to go. Adrian says, I'm looking to get my first car, but I want something fun and low budget, roughly around 3K. What do you recommend? Miata. For 3K? You can pick up a Miata for 3K? Yeah. Where the fuck are you picking up Miatas for 3K? You can get them. Uh, maybe it might be a little beat, but. They might have come down in price a little bit in the last few years, because every time I remember looking at them, they were still up to like six grand. I'm not saying it's going to be mint. All right, fair. I'm not saying it's under 100,000 miles. That's fair. But it'll be fun <laughs> for a little bit. Three grand of those? Um, you can buy my Eclipse, $2,000. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> what else? Three grand's tough. Yeah. Maybe a lot opens That's up a lot at of, five grand. So you're looking at maybe some like older Integras, maybe a little bit Civics, yeah. definitely. Um, Those are very entry level. Only so fun. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a tough one. Three grand. I don't know. Can you get Can you get a clapped SRT four for three? Oh, grand? I'm sure you can find a rust bucket <laughs> SRT four for three grand if you want to put in the work for it. Thank you for the donation, though. Hey, Riley. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he was dancing over here before he was... Uh, Paul donated, thank you. He says, in gallery, 2017 STI 26535 stock suspension spring CO. Pardon? Is that a question? I don't know. Look up, we'll just look up a 2017 STI on 26535. Uh, spring coilover? CO coilover? Is that what you meant? Like what... Coil over you we recommend? I'm I'm confused, Paul. Help me here. Uh Justin asked a question real quick. Uh, yeah. do you guys mount and ship rims tires one place or one piece? 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Our warehouse, if you order from us and you buy a wheel tire package, you get it mounted and balanced, yep. ready to rock and roll. We'll they come, literally be they come go like on stacked a on a pallet, individually All wrapped, wrapped, so nothing We got stuff damaged. between the wheels so you won't get yeah, anything it, like that. It's an art form how those wheels come. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's all they're literally there. ready to go. You just yeah. slap them. I remember my, mine got here one day, mm -hmm. like, and we literally walked out there, unbanded them, threw them on the car in like 15 minutes. Yep. yep. Ooh, uh, Trevor. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. Yeah. Maybe Paul will comment and clarify a little bit. Trevor, thank you for the donation. He says, How do you guys feel about my setup? It's on the gallery. And here is the IG handle at that one ghetto Z34. You got tough competition after that Z4, brother. <clears throat> Gift for the ad. Do it. Maybe not. Try it. Sometimes it works. What if you just search that one? Hmm. Charlie on Z34. I'll find it, brother. Not find it, unfortunately. I'm trying my dang this here. Make sure you don't got your old IG handle or anything like that. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. And you tell us what year and what your setup is. I can probably find it. I'm trying to catch up on comments here. Aaron says. Thank you for the donation. 2009 Mustang GT, low offsets for 19s. Okay. Looking at 19s? Yeah. Low offset, 2009. Uh, low offset here. Exter, thank you for the donation. He says, what do you all think of DeBerti's performance truck? DeBaby? <laughs> no. Here. Oh. I, don't, I don't like that. I gotta pull the. It's pretty wild. Oh my god. It's pretty That's, crazy. That looks like okay. It looks like all those like renders that you always see in of like trucks. Instagram yeah. and stuff of like lowered trucks. And like... someone actually did it. So hell yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad someone actually did it. Oh well, you're gonna like this, brother. Hold Skill on, donated. Oh. Said Joe's best person on FI team. Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh. Thank you so much. Ooh, you're the better. best. You're the best viewer. Wow. <laughs> uh, low offsets. You're looking at dang. Uh, this guy is running some DSO fives, nineteen by nine, and that plus fifteen in the front, and then nineteen by eleven plus twenty two in the rear. That's pretty dang aggressive. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's aggressive. Looks good. Does look good. I always like these here, the Mustangs. Too. Do you? Yeah. I'm. They're. Mm, 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 mm. I just. I just. They, they're like uh, like the Need for Speed Most Wanted. The okay. One was in there. I don't know. Paul's back. Paul's back. Thank you for the donation again. Sorry you had to donate again. Didn't mean for that. But sorry. First question had a character limit. On the 2017 STI stock suspension, can I go with springs about an inch lower? Or do I have to go with coilovers? So I th think he's asking if lowering springs are going to lower an inch. Which, yeah, generally lowering yep. springs are going to give you about an inch drop to inch and a half max, I'd yeah. say. However, I mean, if that's that's all you want, you know that's all you want, go for it. It's, it's definitely an affordable mm -hmm. option. It's worth it. Sometimes it's recommended, too, if you're going to have them for a long time, upgrade your struts with the lowering springs. Yeah. However, at that point, just buy you're, coilovers. You're going to be spending just yeah. as much. So I would really think about it. Just make sure, you know, that's the height you want. And then, uh, yeah, go with some... Lowering springs. I'm sure we got Eibach, H and R, really popular brands for uh, lowering springs. Um, but if you want any adjustability or sometimes the dampening stuff like that, coilovers are they're so nice. I know they're a bit more, but sometimes it's worth it. But <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah, I, I've seen lowering springs look really good on those too. Uh, Trevor, donate again. Thank you. 
Um, he says 2009 370Z with Infinity Works wheels. So I think that was the guy that donated before. So what is it in 2009 Infinity? Or is it 2009 oh. Nissan 350Z okay. with Infinity Works wheels? 350Z. 370. 370. Did I say I might have said 370. All right, now I'm with Infinite, Infinite Works. Infinite Works. I can't read today. Good. Party too hard on New Year's. H I J K L M N O P. I like all these so far. Where are we going? Well, it's a 2009, so pick. Um, what do you say is IG hint? Click. I'll recognize it. We'll just check out the IG handle and see if it's close to the. Hey, hey, hey we, we found, found it. it. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, there is an underscore in your IG handle, bro. You got to tell us. Mm, all right. All right. So we got some. We got some wide boy stuff going on here. This is Oof. pretty hot. So those wheels are dope. Yeah, I'm gonna give you props too for having a 370Z and filling out those damn wheel wells. <laughs> props off Look the bat for that. Look at that diffuser, bro. That diffuser is wild. Look. That diffuser is wild. That diffuser is literally like, like it's on the ground, bro. It's fucking on the ground. <laughs> That's hot. He's on air, oh, air performance suspension. Uh, the car looks. You know what I absolutely, damn aggressive. You know what I absolutely love. I love the gold or the gold lips. Do you like, like that? The copper lips or whatever. I think the red center caps are throwing me off. Really? Because it's like red, white, and gold. Yeah. That throws me off a little bit. I and like then it. I think the neochrome spike lugs are a bit much for me. To each their own. However, I think your stance is freaking perfect. Right, I do man. like the wheels a lot. Um, the diffuser is gnarly. I love the like. Huge duck bill off the back. Uh, splitter looks good on there. She's hot. I'd give it a nine. I would agree, honestly, nine. I, I really dig it a lot, dude. Like, pulling off a 19 by 11, negative 11, on a stock body car. But it's them 370s, brother. Thick. It's them three, that's These what I was saying. I give you props thick. for filling that out because few do it. But when it's done right, it looks so good. Yeah. Way to go, man. All right, thank you for the donation again. Harrison donated, yes, uh, what wheels would you recommend to get on an 05 STI? Let's look some up. Let's check it out. Using our useful gallery tool over at fitmentindustries.com. If you haven't added your car to the gallery, what are you waiting for, bro? I want to review it on From the Gallery. <laughs> Put it in a YouTube episode. Maybe well, share it on the good old Instagram. Uh, RPF1. RPF1, 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 uh, RPF1. Cosmos <laughs> Racing. No, work D9Rs. Show those off. Okay. I was talking about those. At least this one looks good too oh, because well, either one. What do you want? This one's got yeah, some metal one. fenders on it. So. Oh, okay, fair. Work. I love. I've been trying to convince my girlfriend between either XC two hundred six Rs or D9Rs. Work D nine Rs. I had her almost. She was real close on the Work D nine Rs. I love these wheels. Um, you get the Work name, which is awesome because you know these are quality. They're gonna last, and I think they look amazing. I love them, and they look damn good on STIs. Uh, I think we missed a donation. Oh, I'm I'm trying. I'm sorry. Uh, one of a kind. I have a YouTube channel in fabricating first ever wide bar uh, wide body CSRT4 running 20 by 12 negative 44 in the rear and 20 by 10 negative 25 in the front. That's like some truck wheel spec. Negative 44. Check it out or give a mention. So uh, one of a kind. If if that's your YouTube channel, go check it out. I'll see if I can I can uh, pull it up here. Oh, I think I. I don't know what I did. I hope we're good. I'll try to check her out here. No, sorry. Caliber SRT4. I really like those things. 20 by 12, negative 44. 20 by 10, negative 20. I asked if what it How is. the hell? I asked if that was his YouTube channel. We're literally on YouTube and that's his name. So I am. Let's see this. Right here, I'm assuming. Let's see the car. Where's that? I like these caliber SRT fours. Okay, all right, some custom work going on. I dig it. That's a wild wrap you got on there. Oh, so he's going with the whole, going with the whole like expanding foam, shavering it down, fiberglass. <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a journey, brother. And I wish you the absolute best of luck because I freaking love 
when people do this. It takes so much. Yeah, you know, quick drum break. <laughs> <laughs> quick drum plug. I I can't wait to see this when it's finished. Um, so if you yeah, guys are interested, go gnarly. check out uh, One of a Kind on YouTube. This thing looks like it's going to be absolutely wild, and I cannot wait to see it when it's done. Cool, that's dope, man. Thanks for the donation too. Um, Nicholas donated. Thank you for the donation. What would what's your recommendation for a 2006 Mazda RX-8? I like the look of the Rotiform OZR three-piece in the gunmetal gray, but what do y'all think? Those wheels are dope. Oh, I love Rotiform three-piece options because they always go wild and crazy, and they have yeah. some super cool options. I think that'd be definitely if you're in the three-piece, looking at three-piece wheels, Rotiform's a great option. Um, work, obviously, has some great wheels, but I think if you're going for more of that unique look and stuff like that, Wed's wheels look good on there, the Crons. That's more of a, I mean, I guess it depends. I'm assuming you're going for more of a show look with that then. Um, hell yeah, man. NK and TO 3Ms look good on everything. They ain't no three piece wheels. You trying to ball out, brother. Okay, they look good on everything. You're biased. <laughs> I'm trying to see, I don't see any three pieces on these guys yet. I'd love to see it though. I think it would look good. I like RX-8s. I know you do. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Those W's. Yeah, probably the, those Weds. That's probably the only three pieces. Not a lot of people out there doing it. Do it. Do it. Um, where are we at? Uh, Harrison, yeah. thank you for the donation. My 2005 STI is in sunrise yellow, Instagram underscore Harry underscore Allen underscore. So underscore Harry underscore Allen. Yeah. Dang it, what the heck? Wait, did you put that at? No. Try that. Dang it. All right, well. 2005 though? 2005 yeah, 2005 SCI. I don't know why we can't find it like that. There's a sunrise yellow. Yeah. Probably won't be too hard to find. No, there's not too many yellow ones out there. Hey, there's Matt's. Is it in the gallery? Yeah, make sure it's in the gallery, brother. Sullivan says... Or if you don't have it under... If he doesn't have it under WRX, by chance. He did say it was SDI. Yeah. I'll just look under WRX just to see, though. Oh. No. Nope. That one looks dope, though. That's a Miata. That ain't no WRX. Bye, guys. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah, I'm not finding it, brother. If it's uh, in the gallery, uh, just let us know. If not, add it to the gallery. Sullivan says, uh, thank you for the donation. Could you all review my 2004Z? My Insta is Z33 underscore Sully. So we'll try that one. I hope it's in the gallery. Hey. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. On the Let's work go. VSXX. Let's These, go. This looks damn good. So we got 2004 Nissan 350Z. Work VSXX is 19 by 10 and a half plus 20 in the front. 19 by 11 and a half. Zero offset in the rear. Some Just Achilles Nissan things. Tires. Mm, Nissan things on some air performance suspension. First of all, this is my favorite color of the 350Z in existence. If not all of the Z Wait, cars. is that a factory color? It is a factory color. No way. This is a factory Really? Color, and it is fucking gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I would have totally thought that was aftermarket paint mm -hmm. or vinyl wrap or something. Um, yeah, it looks super good, And if man. it's not, it's very close to the one that is. They have like a dark burgundy color. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, uh, fenders rolled, obviously. Oh, we got a whole bunch of there Corbo seats, some interior stuff. Nice. Uh, some different front K-series harness bar, headlights. custom trunk setup, 
pro charge, pro charge. That's dope. So she rips. I like it. Ooh. This thing is damn hot, and I love getting to know all the the facts too about it. Um, it looks damn <laughs> is that good. A tome duh. I love the the fitment. It's not a tome duh. Agency power exhaust. I really like this thing. Your, your fitment spot on. I love that you pro charged it. Gave it some go. Uh, the splitter looks good on there. It looks like you had a you like a lip on your splitter. Sometimes it get a little weird when it's like lip on lip, but gotcha. it does look good. Does uh, look Sullivan good. says not factory by the way. Sorry, I, it looks oh. very close. Um, they look so, damn good. I love the color. It, yeah, but the color is fantastic. Yeah, I would give this give nine point five. I think I'm gonna go nine point. No, I'm gonna say nine. I'm gonna okay. say nine because the lip on lips weird me out a little bit. Lip on lips. Lip on lips. Okay. I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> yeah, I. These are also good. I'm trying to nitpick them a little bit. Looks damn good, man. Thank you for the donation. Jose donated. Thank you. Says, would an 18 by nine and a half fit in my stock G37 sedan? I guarantee it. Yes. It depends what offset you're gonna run. Make sure. Remember, when you're picking out wheels, offset is extremely, extremely important. But yeah. Uh, G37s, you can go pretty wide on. Yeah. Um, so 18 by 9.5 is going to fit. Same with the 350s, 370s. You can get away with wide setups. Thank you, Jose. Another one. Different one. For a donation, too. All right, what do we got? Are we caught up on donations? I don't want to miss anybody. I hope I didn't. I think, I thank you guys for all the comments, all the donations. It's awesome. Uh, thank you to everyone just tuning in and viewing. It means so much. We have a fun time doing this. It's really cool. And if you don't have your car added in our gallery, go add it. It's really Please. easy. Yeah, it takes, takes, about five, takes about five minutes. Thank have you, some pictures of your cars. Then we get to talk about them on live stream or FTG. All right, what do we got going on here? Hello, guys. Greetings from all the way from Romania. Dang. That is crazy. It blows my mind. <laughs> I can't comprehend it. I love it's it. nuts. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, what's your opinion on the best generation of Mustang? Well, if that isn't a loaded question. I really, really enjoy the newest generation. Yep. I, I'm in the same boat. I feel like we just agree I feel on like, everything. I feel like they're they're really falling into more of like what like I feel like a lot of like JDM guys, yeah, like people who've had JDM cars, are if they were to move to a domestic yeah. right now to make power, it, it was, would be like the GT three fifty, and they well they have that aftermarket support yeah. that those yeah. tuner cars. Yeah, they, there's exactly. so much you can do to them, which is awesome. Back in the day, I had a '99 Mustang GT, and I really like that body style. It's, I forget it's, that you had that. It's right <laughs> after um, that, like really rounded, bubbly one that yep. I'm not yep. a fan of. Right after that, gave it more edges and lines. I always like that. It has a spot in my heart because it was one of my first cars. Uh, but no, the newer generation Mustang, the S five fifty is probably my favorite of all time. I think they killed it. Jose, thank you again for the donation. You said he was looking at the Avid 1 AV20s in 18 by 9.5. Yeah, it's under. Just like I said, uh, go in the gallery, look at some G37s, and make sure you get the correct offset. Jose says, how long till my car gets added to the gallery? So if you went in, put it all in, submitted it, usually takes about, what, a day, two days? A couple days, yeah, usually. Two days at the most, probably. And then it'll be up and ready to go. We have a guy that does that for us. He makes sure, because uh, we don't want a bunch of people in, just crap yeah, in there or stuff that's sure, not there. We just go so. through and make sure uh, the information's correct, the pictures are good, um, basically that you filled everything out correctly. But yeah. So yeah, just give her a couple days and she should be up there. And then by the time we live stream again, she'll be ready. We can review it. We can check it out. Or if it's cool, we'll review it on FTG from the gallery. Uh, Mr. Big says, 2007 Honda Odyssey slash Stepwagon in the gallery. <laughs> Yo, guys, name a car that you would buy that is not sold in America. The Sirocco R. Easy, <laughs> easy. Every time I'm, I'm gonna not gonna go lie, that. I really enjoyed that Audi um, A1 that we looked at on FTG. A1 earlier. was cool. A1 was. You're really just thinking cool. that as a daily right now. Yeah, you'd buy that as a daily. I would buy the hell out of that as a daily. That's English. But you could buy any car overseas. You're gonna, you're gonna pick the A1. Yeah, they're really cool. All right, right. okay, all right. I won't. I mean, I picked a Sirocco R. I, I feel like people in Europe too. Like they hear me say that, and they're probably like, like brother, really. Any car overseas, you're going to pick the Sirocco yeah. R? 
as of right now, I that's my them. that's my choice. Ask me a week from now, it'll be something completely different. Did you look up Honda Odysseys? I'm game? sorry. What? Oh, I thought. <laughs> no, I didn't. Brother, what in the? <laughs> I, uh, I I spaced out first. It's okay. Sure. You're like, Am I looking for a specific one? No, I don't know. Yeah, I think you just wanted to see Honda Odyssey. 15, 2007. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> if you're gonna get a ban, <laughs> this is the uh, ban. Odysseys are the way to go. People do stuff to them. Jeez. <laughs> These things are so. I respect goofy. the drip. I love it. I love it so much, dude. <laughs> They're so goofy. I love when people do like RC Odysseys too. If I ever like need RC one. drift Odysseys. I didn't know that oh, was a thing. No, it's a thing and it's fantastic. I love this one with like the the 2002 got like a different fender on it. Urban asks, "How do you feel about lowered trucks? I like them. I love Especially them. Especially if they're done right. Um, it, it's lowered not anything cool. I don't. Oh, it depends. Like you have your different styles. Like you got your like low riders, you know, like mini, the bagged ones yeah. and stuff like that. You have some on hydraulic mini trucks. Mini trucks. Um, you have the built ones, like the I really like Silverado SSs that are like built and they got a huge meaty setup yeah. in their lord. I think those look awesome. I love. I have a super weird thing for SVT Lightnings. Sure. I love those. Um, would I ever do a lower truck? Probably not. But I love seeing them. I respect yeah. the hell out of them. I'm a car guy. I, I love cars. Uh, what do we got? Ruben has a lowered two-door GMC Sierra. Cool. That's dope, man. Mm, Jose, me. can we look at your car on IG? I promise we'll look at it once she's uploaded the gallery. I know you said you were probably did it, and it'll take a couple days. So next live stream, tune in. We will. Thank you for the donation. Just because, like, on Instagram and on streaming and all that, it's just easier. On the gallery all day, so. It's in our own control. Yeah. Um, what do we got here? Is there any question you have? Where's everybody from? Drop it in the comments right That's now. Where cool are you from? Up. Yeah, I like seeing this. Australia, Andy's in Australia, Canada, Jersey, Ikea, Colorado. Wait, you're in an Ikea? <laughs> I just imagine some dude just like sitting out like just relaxing on the furniture <laughs> watching. Uh, we always get a bunch of people in Australia. That blows my mind. It's so cool. We need to go to I Australia. I want to go to Australia. I watch a rally. Trev's in my basement. I don't have a basement, brother. Russia, that's crazy. Minnesota, knocking on our door pretty close. Houston, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. Dang. North Carolina. This yeah. is so, it blows my mind how many people all over are watching. It's so cool. <laughs> Coolest thing ever. SoCal, unfortunately. Oh, That's Wisconsin, something. baby. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to the Yeetmeister on that one. <laughs> the Yeetmeister. Egypt. You mean it? That's Let's cool. Go. Uh, funny meal. Thank you for the donation. He says, rate my Civic. Let's check if it's on there. He probably had a panic attack because I asked that question and the comments just blew up right <laughs> like, after he donated it. <laughs> Damn it, no! <laughs> you caught it though, I'm proud of you. If we can find it here. Oh, there Got she it. is. That silver slug. And the JNC 010s. So 16 by 9, plus 15, hand cooked Ventus, 205 45, so through heart coilovers. This thing looks pretty easy. Um, I think with with the plus 15 offset on, on this car, I think if you were to go just a little bit lower. Yeah. Or maybe. No, that is a 16 inch wheel. Just a little bit lower. I think you can make that poke work a little better in your favor because it is a little pokey. Um, but yeah. if you were to lower it a little bit, bring that camber in just she a little is bit. I pretty think, low. Yeah, but, that's that's why I was hesitant. Yeah, there. yeah. Um, but or I think it's just a little too much poke for my taste. But overall, I think it, yeah. I think it's pretty clean. I think you it's know, nice to see it, you know clean, not rusted out or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Well, it's not in Wisconsin. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I would agree with gels on that one. A little bit much uh, wheel gap. 
So you have 16s, you know, 17s could help that too. Mm -hmm. Might help you out there. Yeah, I, I like the rolling shot though. The rolling shot just yeah, a little bit lower. Shot. I think if you get you can get everything kind of just dialed in a little more, I think you can pull it off really, really good. Um, but like Dakota was saying, like it is already pretty low, but that wheel gap is just not not really in your favor there. So if you can get that figured out, I think it'll look really good because these generation of Civics do look really good when you get that dialed in right. Heck yeah. Best coils under a thousand. Best coils under a thousand? BC Tain. I mean, they'll BC, get okay, they'll so get right around yeah, there. BCs are like area. right at a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Tain Flex Zs are right around like eight hundred fifty bucks. So probably bucks. Tain. We'll that's say what then. that's what I run yeah. right now. I have absolutely no complaints with them. Yeah, and I've ridden in your car and it feels stock. Yeah, like it, it, it doesn't, doesn't feel, feel bad. Although he does need to lower his car. And, uh, You're not wrong. It needs to happen. Yeah, I just, quit playing it's games, Joe. In the middle of winter and it's. I don't care. Park in my garage. You got a garage exactly. What's up from Germany? How's it going, man? Miami. All right. All right. Uh, Nico wants us to look up a 2002 Honda Accord. Okay. Anything specific? Or just nope. At Honda just want to look at them. All right. He wants a picture of Honda Accord, all cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In 2003. What'd I say? 2002. 2002. Okay, this one looks cool. Dang. It gives me a Christmas vibe with that red logo and the... <laughs> That's with all the green cars. This is a Grinch car. Yeah, this is the. <laughs> Don't work much. That thing's Damn. low. You should lower it though. <laughs> yeah, if you can get a little more on that, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, Nico likes it. Nico okay. was like, "Hard eye, hard eye, hard eye." <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Made Nico Ooh. happy. Mink said, "Search up pictures of Mark IV Golf GTIs, and I'm all for it because I have a soft spot for those cars too. I owned one for 30 minutes when it's I like was 16. Mark IV is like early 2000s. Yeah, Mark IV. Yeah, it's like in between that generation. The one, try like a 2000. 2006. I forget what year that they end. I don't know, maybe you'll scroll down though. GTI. I love Mark IV GTIs. So yeah, it's a little older. Maybe 2005. Uh, keep going. Keep going." What you doing, Charles? What you doing? I'm getting, I'm getting there, okay. I don't know my Volkswagen. Uh, a Mark IV R32 is like one of my right. realistic dream cars. It's just in Wisconsin, oh, they're, they're so, all they're trash. So and they want the world for them. They want like 20 grand for a 160,000 <laughs> mile rust bucket. Are we looking for anything specific? No, we're just looking at them. We just appreciate That thing is wild on the radiation. <laughs> my God, that. I don't Not, know how I feel about that. Radiate makes some pretty crazy. Uh, that's too much for me. What about this one, though? This one looked... 1552 Tarmax. Ooh! I like that. I dig that. With these cars, I love the simplistic look. Just yeah. aired out there's, on some wheels that fit damn good. There's a... Mm. I can't remember who it was, but he's from Wisconsin. He had a, a WRX Wagoon. Wagoon on gang! On some uh, Tarmax. It looks so freaking good. Just a black Wagoon on some white Tarmax. It was perfect. I just want an R32 bad. I don't think about it. I looked hard for once. The VR6 is what you love. You love I just, well, I love the look of the Mark IVs, and then yeah, True. the VR6 sounds so damn good, and that's all wheel drive. Then you throw a Mick Supercharger on it, and you just <laughs> win at life. Oh, wait, we haven't even had the gather yet? Or did you just no, switch it? No, I just it? switched it. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> we're missing all these good what ones. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. Mason wants us to look at Jetta's. Just wants to hear your opinion. Like older Jettas? He didn't say. Thank you for the donation. Oh, 2015. 2015. He commented after, yeah. I'm gonna go check if we're doing on battery there. Yeah, I'll check. It. You don't want the battery to die and then throw up the technical difficulty screen like we usually do? I love the technical difficulty I know screen. you do. Yeah, we're fine. Now, as I sit back down, it'll probably go to no battery. <laughs> Was that one? No, it was on two. Oh, perfect. I just don't trust it. All right. So we just look at these two. What do you think of Subaru Legacy? Yeah, just what our opinions Ooh. are. Subaru Legacies are dope. Go check out Crispy's if you want an amazing example of one. I think, I, okay. I think the newer Jettas. Yeah. And the, the Jettas and like the, the GLIs and all that kind of stuff are such a good platform. If yeah. you're looking for a daily that you want to make look good, but like get a absolute shit ton of gas mileage. They're not like a powerhouse. Like no. You're not, you're not buying this car to like go to the drag strip after work. No, but they are but a solid choice. If you want, yeah, a, a daily you can make look good 
and then still like have fun with it, great Absolutely. option. Absolutely. And you get right, pretty decent uh, gas mileage as well. You like New Supra? I love New Supra. Thank you. Same. There's now two of them um, at the dealership that I drive by every day. There's, oh, it's not just like they're just outside you in. or in their showroom. No, they have them like up on a freaking, like the second story of this building in a glass like overview of the highways. A black one like, oh. and a red one. And I'm just like, oh. I, if I had to choose between those, I'd probably get the black one. Yeah, same. I would really love a white ooh, one. Ooh, let's look up FCR 7s. Uh, Halcyon, ooh, this one is intimate with the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see him coming. Where the heck? You're missing out, brother. Really. Yeah, I guess so. Halcyon in the chat, what's going on? We got your comment in Driver to Driver, too. <laughs> yes! So we make did. sure to check that out tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central I, Standard Time. I think we are able to give a preview. I think we can figure it out. Should we give a preview to the live stream? You guys want another preview of the next I mean, round? I, I'm not going to lie. The live stream crowd is like my favorite crowd because they're the cool ones. So, yeah. You, we'll see. Um, if you guys want a little snippet of the uh, not the live Can we get a D2D in the chat? Yeah, D2D if you want to see a snippet of tomorrow's video. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on? Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Oh, we have a donation. Cody, thank you for the donation. She said, what would be a similar setup stance-wise to my 15 by 8 zero offset on my Miata? Miata. Can't find much in a 15 by 8. Yeah. As you fall below that 17-inch mark, even at 17, you start to kind of struggle to find wheels. Um, does Clutch make 15 inches? I'm trying to think of... Good options. We have to go to the gallery, probably check that out. Yeah. Because I, I've never had to buy 15 inch wheels. I, I mean, you're looking at golf cart wheels, really. I know the Miatas. <laughs> I, I know that you got to run those yeah. like older Civics and stuff like that. Um, I will be right back. I have to go grab a different pair of headphones because mine just died. Uh, oh, looks perfect. like we got a plenty of D2Ds in the chat. Yeah, so I we're, gonna we're, gonna have to... we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna show preview. Uh, driver, to driver. All right, I'll hold down the fort. Here we go, boys. Thank you, Austin, for the donation. He says, what's up from Cuba? Thoughts on the C4 Corvette. Um, I think they're a good platform, something to hop into for, you can get them pretty dang cheap now, so it's not bad. However, I'd probably be looking at the C5, C6 if I were to ever hop in one. Um, C4, I mean, it's Corvette at the end of the day. It's all right, not bad. That's my thoughts. But yeah, so we'll be hopping in just a second here. We'll get you guys a preview of driver to driver interviewing a Scion TC owner, uh, Mario. We rip into him a little bit. It was a good time. It was fun. You guys in the YouTube community gave some great questions that we got to ask. It took a couple takes sometimes because I was busting out laughing while recording, but it was an awesome time. All right, what do we got here? I'm reading your guys' comments. Driver to driver Mazda Speed 3 Franklin, stay tuned. Little, uh, little secret, we shot it, it's being edited, so it will be coming up. All right, stop talking shit about me, I'm back. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I think Jell's should be fired. I don't think it'll be here much longer, but. What the hell? Oh, oh hey, Jell. Oh, hey. Is my focus in the gallery? Yeah, 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 it's in the gallery. It's on VIP modulars. Go check it out. It's Coda. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I know. Are Tain coils good for daily driving? Absolutely. Really? Tain? Daily in? Yeah, because I, I pretty much daily the FRS. In summer. The yeah, summer. That's true. And, uh, yeah, I haven't had any issues with them. Mario, you want to come in here? You want to come in here because we're about to give a little snippet of driver to driver. Ooh. And this is who we interviewed. It's so funny. They were asking if they could get Good a morning. preview of it. Damn, you guys got the... You got the it's looking lights. official, isn't this it? Is a, this is a real live stream. Yeah. <laughs> How many viewers we got in here? 157. Nice, nice. Halcyon's in here, too. Oh, so. what's up, Halcyon? I think uh, you always say his me. name wrong. You roasted me in that uh, <laughs> yeah. it's IMTC driver to driver. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just gonna we're gonna show a little small cool. snippet here. All right, well, you guys have a good night. Yeah, Everybody see you, Mario. Peace out.
Yeah. Have a good night, Luigi. No, that's cool. Thanks, Yoshi. Yay. I'm trying to get my. Uh... There we go. All right. That was so weird. He made a guest appearance. Right, let's see. All right. You guys are gonna have to let me know right away if you can hear it. Yeah. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a learning curve here. So uh, when's this? So you want an E46 M3? It's on the schedule. It'll happen. Starts off. Fades in. Um, are you not hearing it? I'm not hearing it. It's a uh, technical difficulty screen. Just kidding. No, 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 no. I know. I'm it. gonna figure this out. You keep answering questions. All right. Is insurance for a G35 expensive for a teen? Uh, two door G35. Yeah, it's probably gonna be up there for a teen. It sucks when you're a teenager. A lot is expensive, especially anything you know that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little expensive. If your driving history's clean, it probably won't be terrible. But it, it, it it's a different situation for everybody. So just get a quote through your insurance. Just joining, what did I miss? Uh, so we've been answering questions. We have the content wheels giveaway going on. Add your car to the gallery, and we're just about to do. I think I just blasted him with it. <laughs> you were just about to do a driver to driver preview for tomorrow. It drops tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. I, I think I got her now. I think I got yeah, her. Yeah, they said that's so loud. <laughs> we apologize. So sorry, guys. We just want to make sure you're loud noises. <laughs> sorry, that's Jell's. You can hate Jell's for that. I had no part of that. Just my ears. Bow. Oh my god. I hope no one had headphones all in. Saw, all I saw was it just go to the red. <laughs> it was just funny. It was just like Did the, you turn it down? It was just like the opening like trumpet. Yeah, just turn it down a little bit here. Alright, let's do it. Let's do right. it. Alright, here we go. I have the Scion TC is a front wheel drive compact car that was released in 2004. This is the same year Halo 2 was released, so it's not Halo all bad. TC stands for Touring Coupe, or Total Crap if you ask anyone over the age of 25. It was designed to attract the youth, kind of like cigarettes. Marketing <laughs> made you think it was cool, but in reality, it's bad for your health. The TC first generation was powered by a 2.4 liter four cylinder, putting out an astonishing 161 horsepower, or 200 <laughs> horsepower with the factory option turd super McCharger. <laughs> the Scion TC dropped onto the scene with tons of aftermarket options to upgrade your new whip, like DLC from EA that nobody wants to pay for. Maybe it should be called the Scion <laughs> DLC. <laughs> <laughs> the Scion TC isn't the fastest car in the market, Ooh, but it is God. a car. How many beers does it take me to film Today this? we sit down I with do an owner and have a good, good old chat. Driver to drive. <laughs> Future sure first question. Yeah, yeah, we'll let it play it for a little bit. <laughs> that sounds great. Don't forget, wheels, tires, suspension at FibMinistries.com. <laughs> Mario is so nervous. I'm Dakota from Feminine Industries, and I'm here with Luigi. I'm here with, uh, he's actually here with Mario. Mario, actually. that's what I said. But that was, that was good. <laughs> I know. I haven't heard that one before, you know. I know. <laughs> My whole 22 years of living. Never All right, let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> How much did you pay for that millennial machine? Uh, I think back in the day, uh, total with like taxes and like title and registration and all that kind of good stuff. I think it was like 12000 You You got it from the dealership or something? No, I bought it off of Craigslist. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it, so, was off, it was off the old Craigslist. You, you were know. 16 dropping 12 Gs? I was. When I was 16, I was like <laughs> dropping classes. Same. I was doing that as well. <laughs> you were just quitting your classes to get money? Yeah. I would just skip class and work. <laughs> Don't ever what? change. I'll try not to. All right. Is that weird? No. All right. So yours was the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. All right. You get the rest at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. It drops. So, so what do you guys think? Should we do more? Should I get the axe? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. All right. <laughs> Mute all that so I don't end up blasting everyone. <laughs> yeah. Don't blast them out of existence again. I feel so bad. Uh, I don't think it's really fun. <laughs> driver to driver bloopers. That oh should be a thing. Okay, that absolutely so, should be a so thing. So here, here's a little inside scoop. Dakota does an absolutely fantastic job <laughs> filming driver to driver. I Thank don't know you. how. You don't. Every now and then, every now and then you'll break. <laughs> I know. <But> like, yeah. <laughs> That's what we usually it's me and Steve behind the cameras, kind of running everything, mm -hmm. and we are just like crying at some point, <laughs> and it's like. 
If the jokes aren't enough to get him, I don't know how he doesn't laugh at us just like dying behind That's the That's the hardest part, honestly, <laughs> is when I'm interviewing. I love it because it's like validation while you're doing Like, okay, that wasn't that stupid. It was at least yeah. a little bit funny. So I enjoy it in that sense. But like the one time, the one question we ask in this, oh my gosh, I heard Steve crack just a little bit and I lost it completely. I couldn't do was it. That, was it's, that the one question in, in here? Yeah, in the Scion TC yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a question from a viewer. And uh, it's a good one. It, yeah. It's a good one. Give it a watch and give it a comment. If you comment that you're from the live stream and you're watching this, you I promise. Yeah, I'm going to respond to it. I'm going to heart it because the YouTube live community, these are my people. I love doing this. Yeah, so, so a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of comments. Just do a giant compilation video of the bloopers from all the driver to driver videos. <laughs> that would be, yeah, we need to record okay. a bunch more and so, then do that. So after we get a few into here, maybe, maybe like at the end of like, I don't know how long we're going to do this series for, but maybe like um, we're like mi middle of the year here yeah. in 2020, we'll drop something like that. That would I be feel funny. Like we would have a good amount. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Johnny, for the donation. All righty. You did it last time. Thank you. And I've seen it. That's why I said it again. <laughs> so the first driver to driver that dropped and we gave a preview and I was like, yo, comment from the live stream. A ton of people did yeah, it. Yeah, it was, like, it was awesome. This is ridiculous. Because so. like before we even <laughs> drop the series, we're like, let's get a little bit of like... An idea of yeah. what, because like it's such a different series from like everything yeah. else that we do. We were like had no idea how you guys were gonna take it, um, so we just showed a preview on one of the live streams. The water you bucket, you're the best. Freaking loved it, and I'm so glad because like we thought about that for a long time. Like it was it was a it was a late night, yeah, kind of just sitting around funny, throwing yeah, ideas at a wall, and uh, that's what came out. So uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Always just, like I said, leave a comment. Um, and then keep up to date on our community tab yeah. on our, our YouTube community. Because we're always throwing up pictures. Post in there every week asking for you guys to ask some good questions. Yeah. Because I love also getting the community involved on it. And like, we'll like show your guys username and your question up on the screen and stuff. And then you guys have a little bit of say what gets questioned and stuff like that. So I think it's super cool how we can involve the community and then get to roast some people. And obviously... They're jokes. Like, all the cards that yeah. have been in it, I love them. I end up loving them. Like, Even Mario's? Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. But, like, uh, we just did one with a buddy of ours, and he has a phenomenal car. It's so good. Oh, it's going to be great. That one was hard. That one was hard, because, like, how do you roast something that's so beautiful? But we did it, <laughs> and we got him good. Yeah, but, Mario's uh, car is really nice. Yeah, I do, like, I, I, rip, <laughs> I, I rip on Subarus a lot, but... I, I do like them a lot. It's just they're easy to poke fun at. They're easy to poke fun at. Alrighty, what do we got? Uh, Let's see some more Focus RS content soon. You know, I'm down. Maybe okay. we can do a driver to driver Focus RS. Yeah, we know a couple of those guys. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I like those. Um. Is an E36 okay for winter? <laughs> um, I survived multiple winters with an E36. No sandbags, not even snow tires. How'd you do? Um, every now and then it was a little rough. But like I dailyed that sucker for five years. Five years? 230,000 miles. Five years? That Holy. That thing was a freaking tank. And I loved that car so much. I'm so sad that like it met its demise, but like, <laughs> damn, I, it was a great car. Um, would it be my first choice? Absolutely not. But like, it's doable. It's doable. There you go. Favorite domestic. Mm. Mm. I would probably say dun, dun, the new dun. gen Mustangs. Oh, you're gonna go with them? Yeah. Um. I guess I'll just go focus RS on that one. I have an ST, but I, I love hatchbacks. I mean, at the time, if I had more cash, I would have went with the RS just because the all-wheel drive system and the sure. bump and horsepower. Um, but I love my ST. It's treated me really well. I've had really good luck with it. It's a fun car to drive. So, Holy I'm shit, Gels, how do you exist? Five winter, five winters, no winter tires, but the ice, my dude. Yeah, yeah it was no. a little rough. So, okay, so here's the, there's nothing you can do against yeah. ice, okay? I don't care what you do. All wheel drive, I got, five I wheel start. drive, six wheel so drive. I was winter tires. When I was going to school, um, the dorm that I was staying at 
for some reason had like our parking lot for the dorm was like way up like a hill like across the street and then like up another like steep hill it was in oh Wausau. Oh my god. It was in Wausau. And uh, so like the, like the hills over there were like really steep. And we had this snowstorm and I had to get up to our parking lot. And I like I pulled off this main drag of like Wausau and like I tried to go up this hill and I, and I just started like sliding backwards, like back down in the street. And so I kind of just like <laughs> kind of perched it into the curb. And there's like these cops like sitting on the side of the street in front They're of me. They're just watching you? Yeah. And they just kind of like turn or like, or no, they came off of the street and they like kind of like drove slowly past me as I was like sliding down. And just kind of looked and they just like floored up the hill. I'm like, <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> and you're just like stuck there. I ended up just. I, I said screw it because I couldn't get up the hill. I just went down, parked where I wasn't supposed to, took the five dollar <laughs> ticket, and said screw it. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what you had to do at that point. <laughs> All right, let me see what comments we had. Donation, Johnny. Thank you for the donation. Thoughts on the BMW E39 and its potential? Uh, I don't know too much about the BMW E39. To yeah, be honest with you, where's Lars when you need him? Yeah, Lars is our BMW boy. Yeah. Sorry, brother. The E39, I have... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't comment too much on it. I haven't owned it. None of my friends have owned it. I don't want to give you false information. That's right. Sorry, thank you for the donation. Dakota, how do you feel now that the focus has gone from U.S. production? Cuts deep. No, I'm just playing. I don't really care. Um... I, I mean, the the new ones in Europe look cool. They don't look bad. I don't know. I guess I would have liked to seen it continue a bit longer. Um, I always thought it was a bit ridiculous that you can't get over 300 horsepower without going, like, bigger turbo. With a, like, I mean, a Cobalt SS, you can get over 300 horsepower on bolt-on. You should have kept that one. Yeah, maybe I should have kept that one. <laughs> it was quick. Um, but the, I, so I would have liked to see where the ST is going. Um, the European one, like I said, it looks cool. It, it's, I mean, kind of looks like a Speed 3 or just a Mazda 3, uh, the newer one. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not heartbroken over it, but. Um, Bizarro asks, hey, Jels, what are your dislikes of your Eclipse? Well, <laughs> personally, I, when I first got the car, I was in high school. I didn't know much about Eclipses or DSMs for that matter and the opportunity came along to get one that was just sitting in a shop or a garage that the guy had no use for anymore and he was just going to junk it and I took it and um, it ended up being uh, Eclipse GS so it was like one of the more base model versions it came with the Chrysler uh, 420A engine 2 liter naturally aspirated um, and it was a little bit rusty um, we did a lot of exterior uh, fixes, got some different panels, uh, fenders, uh, the hatch was rusted, got a new hatch work, got new doors for it, um, put it through a repaint. Um, but the, the key thing um, with the DSMs is the strut tower rust. They, yeah, they're terrible. They're deadly known for their strut tower rust. Crank walk, right? Uh, that's on the 4G63. Oh, yeah. Um, My bad. That's okay. And it's rusty. And that, that's the only thing is that those cars do rust very easily. Um, if you're anywhere near like uh, humidity or salt or salt water or anything like that, um, between the the strut towers and then like the rears by the rear um, rear well wheel wells, stop, stop, stop. Jesus, stop, 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 stop. rear wheel wells, um, <laughs> rust out very easily. So, um, other than that, like the car's been very reliable for me. That's surprising, yeah. honestly. How much have you drove it though? A lot. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I would say probably. I'd put probably 60,000 miles on that. Car Crazy Nick asks, Dakota, now that the ST is gone, what would you buy in place as a new car? That's a good question, and I always ponder it. I am really in love with the new Supra. Yeah. And I would have, the only way I'm getting a new Supra, I save my pennies like a big boy, and then I buy a used one. But I think I could do it if I tried hard enough. Otherwise... My newly acquired Volkswagen Jetta Sportwagen TDI has made me fall in, vo in love with Volkswagen so much. Sure. I'd probably hop into a Golf R real quick. Okay. Because you sense. make good power out of them, all-wheel yeah. drive. The interior is real nice. It's kind of like a luxury on the interior, but then, like, once you do some modifications to it, things get rowdy. Yeah. Get rowdy. So that's kind of where I'm at. Kind of on two different ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. 
But I don't know. I flip flop every single day. Yeah. If uh, I hit the lottery, I'm getting an RS6, and that's that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert Ray's asks, uh, kind of in the theme of the new decade here, will spinners make a comeback oh. this decade? I, here's what I'm it's say. getting close. So here's what I'm going to say about that. It's getting close. I think some people are going to try. Okay. Somebody is going to try. And they're going to try really somebody hard. Somebody's doing it right now, I'm sure. They're going to try really hard. Mm -hmm. Like some wheel brand out there, or somebody's going to like home make some shit, and they're going to try really <laughs> hard. And it's not going to work. I, that's that's my thoughts on it. Like it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try that, and you're going to see it all over Instagram. You're going to see it all over Facebook and YouTube. For about a month, and then it's gonna go. So away. this is what I'm thinking: someone needs to revolutionize it. Someone right. needs to recreate the spinner. Right. And it can't be what it was. It needs to be something new. How I'm seeing things, Rotiform has the aero discs, right? Sure. That. Yeah. Now, what if that spins? True. I think Euro guys can pull it off in some freaking weird ass way. And that's what I'm thinking. But what I'm saying is, what we know as spinners will not make a comeback, I don't think. But some variation, some variation of it okay. will. Yeah. What do we think about, what do you guys at FI think about Volvos? I love them, especially the Volvo Wagoons. However, my buddy, my first experience with the Volvo, he had an S60R, it's an all-wheel drive, turbocharged, woke up my eyes so much. I was like, holy sh... So this is why Volvos exist. Okay, they can get down. They can make <laughs> power, and they can actually look good. Yeah, I'm all about Volvos. They're like the sleeper of the car community. Yeah, I've never personally, I, I've never ridden a Volvo. I've never seen a lot of them. I've seen they're, a couple, few and far between. They're some of their wagons are nasty yeah. though. Yeah, I know. I know that they're turbocharged. Like, those like weird oddball cars that can like like you said just put down the power. I, I, I've always liked the look of them, though. The problem is everything's so damn expensive for them. Yeah. Aftermarket stuff, replacement stuff, that's that's where things for us get a little, uh... <laughs> what? Wait, what? Do you guys know of any methods of removing crickets in the FRS besides a loud exhaust? Oh, I'm, I thought you meant crickets as in, like, bugs. <laughs> no, yeah, I, creeks. I I'm know assuming... exactly... What he <laughs> I thought he had a bug in this. What, what, what do you think he's talking about? I thought he was talking about bugs in this car. What do you think? He's, what, what Crickets? You, yeah. Oh, maybe creeks and stuff? Like, no, 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 no. So, um, FRSs suffer from crickets. And, uh, basically, our fuel pumps chirp. Chirp? Oh. They chirp. Yeah, it's like, oh. and it's a, like, when I first brought, I brought my car home from the dealership, I bought it. And I, like, pulled in the garage, I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh, and then I, like, literally hopped on the internet. We're like, oh yeah, you got the crickets. Um, basically, just try it. the the best solution for it. basically, it's just an issue from the factory, and like you can bring it in and they'll do the maintenance work on it, and they'll replace it with the same exact fuel pump, and then like two thousand miles later, you're gonna have the same issue. Some people it resolves it, but most of the time you're gonna have the same issue. What I can recommend is try to run gas without any ethanol in it. Anytime I run... Oh, I remember you talking about this before. Yeah. Anytime I run gas with no ethanol in it, it quiets down quite a bit. And it's not and it's not too bad. Everything Plus, you told me about these cars, I just don't ever want. <laughs> Plus, with my, my Gretti Revolution 3-inch... Yeah, that, that cat shit's, back that's with loud as hell. link catless header. It's so uh, loud. You can't hear anything anyways. And then, like... It's fine. But yeah, just try to stay away from uh, <laughs> ethanol. This is Joe's room, though. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sleep <it> over. <laughs> What's for dinner? I got okay, some. I'm gonna check it. Uh, Are you checking the pizza? Yeah. In the oven. Pizza's good. Um, look okay. at. All right, we're getting on one bar. Okay. A battery. We probably should wrap her up here soon. Anyways, I gotta get home. I have a puppy. I'll we'll do a few more. A puppy. Few more uh, questions here. Ooh, thoughts on the new C8 Corvette? We haven't really got to ask that. New style or should they have stuck with the classic styling? I think the outside looks good from certain angles. I think the interior is... Interior is lacking. I don't like that. Like, it has, like, the huge, like, row of buttons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. We Yeah, I forgot about that. I, I think it's cool they did, like, the mid-engine thing to mix yes. stuff up. Yes. I, I like trying new things. I think if... But, so here's the thing. 
I know Chevy's really pushing for it, and I don't know how it's going to work out, but they're trying to keep dealerships from keeping as close to the MSRP as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. because. But if they do, that is going to be one hell of a car for the cost. Oh, true. Very true. I'm not... I'm not. I'm interested to see so, the reliability yeah. and everything of it. it. It's weird because it's something completely different for Chevy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sold on the look of it 100% yet. The back end is a little wonky. Yeah, that, that's what I say. At certain angles, it looks... Pretty damn good, but some is... Yeah. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Fox, thank you for the donation. He says, hey, guys, what are your thoughts on coil over covers? I'm daily driving in Minnesota with BC Racing Coils. Do the covers work well, and should I get some? Honestly, with you, I've never used them before, but I would recommend them. Anything to keep salt, yeah. grind... Especially if you're, like, adjusting them. them it's not, yeah, it's, it's not going to hurt anything to put that over there. Otherwise, make sure you get a bunch of, like... um Take some automotive grease to put on yeah. there and keep your threads as clean as you possibly can. Um, I know it's tough and like they can get corroded pretty quickly, especially in the, these northern states, brother. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, try them out. Let us know. I've, I've never used them personally and I haven't heard of any in museum, but I don't see how they could hurt. I think it's worth a shot. Um, please answer. First gen taco lowered or lifted? So Tacoma, I'm assuming. I haven't seen too many, oh, no, the first gens I have seen some lowered Tacomas. Uh, sure, we'll go lowered. I'm saying lowered. Kid, thank you for the donation. Have you guys ever slept in your cars, like, overnight? Yeah. Really? Definitely. Yeah, I have before. Like, I've been out camping. Um, I had an Impreza back in the day, and it was a wood, or the hatch, and I had a tent that hooked oh, okay. up to it, oh, so that okay. was all kind of cool. And then I've also slept, I had a Duramax back in the day, and I've slept in the bed of that. Gotcha. Um, I can't say I've ever slept in a car. Like, overnight? That's a strange question. Overnight, I've never slept in a car. I've never sat in, like, the driver's seat. I was very close. Overnight. I was very close because um, we were at a RC event one day. We went out to a, a fly-in, uh, yeah. RC fly-in, and we <laughs> had a, we just brought a tent because it was like kind of like an overnight thing, and you'd camp, like, right on the, the, the air yeah the airstrip or whatever there um we just brought a tent but it was like stupid hot it was so oh. humid Ooh. so we're like okay maybe we'll just sleep in the truck or something and yeah. like kind of turn the ac on every now and then but we just ended up getting a hotel because it was like 80 bucks and i didn't want to die <laughs> that's fair i spent a very long time in a vehicle i've when i went and picked up my wheels i drove from wisconsin to oklahoma and back without stopping well for gas maybe snacks was that, that was your wheels? Yeah. <laughs> that was a long time. That was a lot. It was well over 30 hours of driving. Damn. That's a lot of driving. Let me say a couple more here. Yeah. Slept overnight in a Cyan TC. Surprisingly, it was comfortable. Well, at least we found a use for him. <laughs> <laughs> God. Driver to driver, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. Best first rear-wheel drive car that's also okay in snow. Something with good traction control, probably. Um, like we said, you can pretty much just drive whatever you need to in the snow and be okay. Just take precaution. Get good tires. That's yeah. going to help out more than you it's think. Like, yeah, it's never really on the car. And so then it's like, oh, so that car is not good. So it's like, no, your, your setup isn't good. I mean, yeah, and like, like I said, if someone has good traction control, that's a plus. Um, and then if you need to put weight in the rear, put some sandbags in yeah. the rear, that'll help out. Calm Kid, thank you for your donation, says, help me choose some wheels and tires for my red 92 MR2. Let's okay. do that. Let's look them up. We, I know we got a bunch of MR2s added to the gallery after So You Want an MR2, which is a dope video. Um, I really like these cars. Yeah, same. Uh, so I think this will be the last one. Okay, this is the last one. So wheels for a 1992 Toyota MR2. Let's look! Ooh. Ooh. The Blitz, Blitz type. wheels. They look so good on MR2s. Yes. This is like my favorite wheel on these cars. This um, one looks damn good. And if and if you can't and if you can't dish out the money for the blips or the, the blips, blips. If you can't <laughs> dish out the money for the Blitz, ESR has come out with um the what the ES fifteens that look um pretty Ooh. similar. But they got that same like kind of star uh, yeah. pattern like split five spoke it looks really really good i'm gonna interrupt you real quick because alex has some useful information 
PSA, my coilover covers are amazing. I ran my coilovers for three years and they still look brand new through snow and rain. So That's what he's awesome. saying is that we need to get some FI branded coilover covers for, real? for you guys. Definitely. And then I need to run them because I daily my car on coilover. Same. So I would definitely run them. That's good to hear that they work so well. Thank you, Alex. All righty. I think that's about going to wrap it up here. Yeah, it's getting late. The works yeah. look good on there, too, on that red one. That's a 1995. Yeah. But. So, Jess, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. We always love doing this. I hope you guys like the new setup. We'll probably continue to do something like this. We'll just tear it on my desk every day. It's fine. You know, yeah. It's whatever. Oh, <laughs> um, but before we head out, um, I just want to let you just give a, another update um, for the Kansai wheel giveaway that we just announced today. Um, if you want to get entered in to win a free set of Kansai wheels, so you for donation, head over to fitmentindustries.com. You can see the big banner right here. Just click on view here. Pick up a t-shirt, get automatically entered in the win. The t-shirt is absolutely killer. My favorite by far. It looks absolutely awesome. So all you got to do is pick up the t-shirt, make a donation um, if you want. But some of the proceeds from the shirts are going to be going to Hope for Paws. Um, we've already raised $461 for that. Oh, man, that's crazy. So yeah. uh, thank you guys so much for those if you've picked up a shirt already. But, um, yeah, if you want to get a chance to win some free wheels, but definitely get a free shirt, or not a free shirt, but a dope shirt in the yeah. meantime. To win some free wheels. Go pick it up. And this is the only time these shirts are available. So once these are gone, they're gone. Yeah. Definitely cool. Definitely worth picking up. And it goes to a good cause. Why not? Definitely. Um, HK Colors asks, got any good stories to tell to wrap up the vid? So I got a quick okay. one. I got a real quick one. Okay, so got my Focus ST. I loved it. Man, I need to lower this thing. It looks like hell stock. I'm going to put it in some Fortune Auto 500 coilovers. I remember this. And story. it's going to be a great time. I put in coilovers a bunch of times. It's going to be a breeze. And uh, get started. Get going. I'm watching a video on my phone. I'm installing. Things are going well. All right, you need to remove... The windshield wipers. Pause. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Try and try and try and watch the video. Of course, the dude pulled just boop right off. Yeah, no problems. I had the worst hell of a time getting these suckers off. I go to pull them off <laughs> with a screwdriver, and like I didn't realize I was wedging it between the wiper and my windshield, and all of a sudden I just feel, oh. and I look. I shattered my windshield pretty damn good. And then I continued the video right after. It's optional to remove the wipers. It just makes it a little easier. Why does it make it easier? How is it's, it? So no, there's a cover uh, like by the windshield okay. plastic cover. You take that off, you can take the cover off, and then you can get to the... Because it's not a... The, the strut towers aren't open oh, really? like other cars. Okay. Like a lot of guys will cut. Kind of like the 350s? Yeah, they'll cut circles in them so then you can get access to the camber <laughs> plates and stuff on them. Oh, and Long no. story short, I cracked my windshield for no reason at all. And I installed the coilovers without removing my windshield wipers. <sighs> it hurt. Oh, brother. Feels bad, man. Oh, brother. So that's my quick story. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love doing this. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. Um, driver to Driver drops tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Please give it a watch so Alex doesn't fire me. It's true. And uh, don't forget to add your car to the gallery. Do it. it. Takes a few seconds. Easy. And then when we hop on live, we can give it a review. So, yeah. thank you guys so much. Thank I'm you. I'm going to go home and we'll eat some food. See you on Wednesday. Probably some ramen. Yep. There you go. Wednesday. See you guys. Wednesday, my dudes.